Welcome to Colorado's Best, featuring businesses and services around Colorado. Recent events in Japan, along with the controversies concerning x-rays at airports and medical imaging technologies, has brought the subject of radiation front and center. Are we getting too much and how can we protect ourselves and our families? Premier Micronutrient Corporation has become a worldwide leader in this field with the development of BioShield radiation pills. Dr. James Ehrlich, a medical advisor, joins us now. Dr. Ehrlich, it's obvious what the people of Japan need to be concerned about, but what about here in the U.S.? What are the sources of radiation we need to be concerned about? Well, we're all exposed to radiation every day of our lives. We're exposed from things like radon and what's in our homes and just living in the atmosphere. We're also exposed unexpectedly from smoking and passive smoking. So if you go to a smoke-filled environment, there's a lot of radiation that you're getting, okay? What we're especially concerned about are medical imaging procedures that use ionizing radiation and then other types of radiation that were not common 30 or 40 years ago, like frequent airline travel. So the typical American should be concerned about mammograms, CAT scans, nuclear stress tests, uh, various types of medical procedures. Certain people who are in professions that are occupationally exposed, like airline pilots and he certain healthcare workers. So how does BioShield work? Well, BioShield works because the way people are damaged by radiation, remember all radiation is now considered a carcinogen officially. So all radiation is cancer causing, potentially. The way it causes cancer is by damaging your DNA first. Many people repair their DNA, but some people don't. And so what we want to do is make sure that people have the least damage to their DNA from any radiation exposure. And what's exciting about BioShield, beyond being completely safe and involving uh, various types of antioxidants that are in common use, the advantage is that we've been able to show in a study just last month in Germany, that one dose of BioShield given before an x-ray procedure with the amount of dose of a CT scan significantly lowers that DNA damage. And they were developed by a group of radiation biologists and antioxidant scientists uh, from Colorado. Huh. Yeah. And tested in Germany. This particular human study, actually okay. most of the testing that's been done on BioShield by this group of radiation biologists were done with NASA, with our Department of the Army, uh, done with the uh, Naval Research, wow. um, and with chemical defense uh, contracts. So what about your average everyday person who just wants to take it every day with their vitamins? I mean, is that okay? Well, there are two categories of people who should be taking this. There are those who take what we call the R1 uh, capsules, a package of R1, because they're about to have a mammogram or a CT scan, or perhaps they're a frequent flyer and they want to be covered for that episode of high radiation mm -hmm. and oxidative stress. And then there are the group that you've mentioned, which are people who might want to take this every day. Since BioShield, the R2 formulation, completely replaces all the multivitamins and antioxidants that you may be taking anyway, then why not take BioShield, the R2 formulation, every day and get an added layer of radiation protection as a bonus. What about Japan? I mean, you see something like this and you hear how phenomenal this should be. It seems like there should be huge shipments right now going over to the people of Japan. Well, there are two issues that are related. Okay. There are the issues of how can we help people who are now in trouble, and certainly those people who live near the power plants and certainly the workers could benefit from this. So we are doing what we can. I've talked to senators and others and to see if we can get a shipment of this um, to Japan.